We've got the lovely Susan Lightbody here, who is the business manager at Opus Couture. And they are an Ayrshire bridal boutique, which opened in 2003. So they know their stuff and they carry a whole host of designers. You've got Wona Couture, Maggie Sotero, Berta, Pranovia. So if it's that kind of thing that you're looking for, then check the guys out. Susan has been part of Opus for 17 years. Mm -hmm. So if anyone knows her stuff, it's going to be Susan. And she's going to talk you through some looks today, day to night, and how you can find your confidence as a bride without having to compromise who you are. So we've also got the lovely Sophie here, who is an Opus bridal consultant, and Julie, who is actually a former Opus bride, who did say yes to the dress down at the West Coast Bride Boutique. So enough from me, I will hand over to the lovely gals to talk you through all things bridal. Thank you. So hello, everybody. Um, so I'm Susan. Um, so today, the essence of the talk is all about confidence and not compromise. So I think as women, we constantly compromise in all things all of the time. And I think on your wedding day, that's a day where you can just not do that. Be absolutely gorgeous, feel fantastic. And there's lots and lots of things that we can do to help you achieve that throughout the bridal process and try on dresses and customizing dresses and altering dresses. So I have the gorgeous Sophie and the gorgeous Julie, and I'm going to show you some different looks that we can do just even within the one dress. So first thing we're going to talk about is day to night. There is a bit of a trend at the minute for, do we do two dresses? Do I go for a mini? Do I, you know, at night, do I change? Is this going to be too warm? Is it going to be uncomfortable? The other thing that can happen is when you find your dress, you absolutely love it and you do not want to take it off. So it's like, well, I'm loving this. I'm spending an absolute fortune on it. I'm wearing this like forever. How can I make this work for evening for, I've had my photos done. I've had the aisle shots, you know, I look incredible, but I want to party. Do you know? So, for the first look we've got here for Sophie is we've added this really soft, light, chill, romantic overskirt onto it and these little straps. So this can all just come off. So at night you're left with maybe sexy dance floor sparkly number for hitting the lights. So, I'm going to pop these little straps off and these can be on my little poppers as well. I'll show, we would we'll show you bridesmaids to get full training on taking the day to night look. Don't worry if you're like worries about that. Sorry. So we can turn this into strapless and then pop this off. And then you can just step out your sofa. And then you're left with your gorgeous fishtail, which is a beautiful look for your nighttime dancing. You can also just get some photos with this as well. Also, this has got gorgeous trains, so if you're okay to spin around, so okay. For nighttime, you're thinking, right, well, I want the train. I'm not compromising on the train, because remember, we're not compromising <laughs> on what we want here. For the likes of this, we would then find a way of hooking and bustling this up for dancing. So again, you could maybe go in after your meal, nighttime guests, and you're kind of different look. You know, like, woo, we're married. And then we'll find a way of getting thread wires, bustles, and all of this can hook up out of the way. So it's hooking up for dancing, and you can just spin about the dance floor and enjoy yourself. So that's one option. Right, thanks, Sophie. You can Thank you. Another one up. Right, so gorgeous Julie. So Julie was my bride. Julie walked in to Opus, and I was like, I know the dress for you. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, she walked in with just a brand new sample dress in and put it on, didn't we? And I was, and it was like insane. First one, we made, we made her try on other ones because we're like, you need the experience. You need because sometimes that can happen. You'll maybe come in and you'll either know what you want or you don't know what you want and all of that is okay. Do your research, pin, put pictures on your pin boards, show us your images. It's okay for you to get what you didn't think you want and vice versa. Sometimes being really set on, seeing this dress and this is definitely the one I want. When you actually put it on and you don't like it, it can be really disappointing. And to try and then pick yourself back up during that appointment, you're like, oh no. I planned me looking like this in my wedding venue and now it's not working. So we that's why trust your consultant, talk to us, tell us everything. We'll do a wee pre-call with you. You can tell us what you're feeling and thinking. When you come in, we'll ask, right, what you liking, what you're not liking, what about your body you liking, what about your body you're not liking? Because that can be a big area where we're like, I hate this bit of my arms, 
and I have spent a huge amount of my working career covering these bits. <laughs> I could probably do the hands up, everybody does it like these bits, we all have them. So there's different areas that I know women are not confident when we don't want you standing like this like this on your wedding day we want you like you know confident photograph me you know every angle i'm looking incredible so you might come in you might try on this dress and this actually happened to julie so i put these on and i think they're fabulous and julie's like mm, i don't think i like them but she loved the dress so this is a great dress for just ex like exploring what we can do in the salon you find the base dress you love and again, we don't want to compromise. You're like, I love it, but I still want to cover this bit. And I love it and I want. And I love it and I need buttons. And I love it and this. So this is where you have the conversation. And then we can customise it. So again, you're getting exactly what you want. So pop these guys off. Right? Again, this has got this beautiful overskirt, which gives you this day look, the drama. However, again, at night, you think, right, don't want that. Or it's just too much for me. It's not, maybe your wedding's not that big. You know, you've got a smaller wedding. So again, you can step out of there, Juliet. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you're all right. You're okay. So with this, so again, we've totally transformed this into this lovely, sleek, chic dress. But then Julie's like, mm, don't like the neckline, don't like the sparkle. Well, you didn't actually say that. I'm putting words in your mouth. But. So we'll pop this in. And we can change this neckline up a little. Sorry, guys. And we would put this in in the matching fabric of the dress. We've got a full alteration, we've got a technical team, sewing room, we're all design based trained, so we can do all of this in house for you. Thank you. So, that goes in, and then we've changed that neckline. But she's still like, it's still the right Susan. <laughs> so we can add more sleeves. Now again, these can be detachable. And then we can create this gorgeous off shoulder look. That can pop her on and pop her off. So as you can see from the dress that Julie first stood in, we've really changed that up to create a completely different look for her. And this could be all in the one day, Do you know, you don't need to just have one or the other. You can have all of the looks if you want. All right. Thank you, Julie. So again, when we're talking about planning and research and thinking about it, who you bring to your appointment is important as well. You want your cheerleaders. You want your absolute besties. You want the girls that are girls or guys that are going to come along with you and know you really well. So they're going to pick dresses that they know that you're going to love. You might have a, someone that you know that loves loads and loads of super sparkles. So they're always going to favour the sparkly one over when you're inside. You're like, no, I'm not, you know, I like plain. So make sure you bring with you your cheerleaders, your very, 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 very best people with you. Right, so next dress we've got on Sophie. So this is gorgeous on Sophie. Uh, so you find, when you come in to get a new bride appointment, Sophie will be doing your appointment. I just see it all over her Instagram because she looks incredible and everything new. So we just put it on her and photograph her all the time. You might look at this and think, oh, I don't like the plunge, it's a bit low. There's so many plunging necklines out there just now. Not everyone's co comfortable in them. If you are comfortable in them, great. You know, show off what you've got. But if you're not, there's lots we can do. We can infill this. We can raise the neckline. Yeah. I can almost go like that. Yeah. We could just re replete this to take this over, even if you wanted the plunge. But it's just a wee cheeky hint. Do you know it can look really nice? Um, also, Sophie does all the ordering, so sometimes from the point of order, we can say to the designer, raise the neckline, add a little bit on, you know, length, shorten, things like that. So, um, and as well, if if a bride came to me and she was like, I don't want anything strapless, I don't want anything chesty, etc., etc., I still might pull strapless dresses because I know it can have a strap put on. So sometimes I'm like, please don't think I've completely ignored everything you said. Um, but I know we can make those changes. And sometimes girls worry about the height. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually that tall. I mean, obviously I've got heels on, but again, the designers can sometimes shorten dresses and you know, they worry about the proportions in the dress, but once it's in your size and tailored to you, it's, yeah, you wouldn't notice. Fine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we've added like a little overskirt on with this as well. And another thing which I think is important, just going back to when you're talking to your consultant, 
you don't need to tell us what you think you can wear, right? Again, because we're not compromising, tell us what you want. So you might, a lot of women will come in and they'll show us pictures and go, right, I think this is the kind of thing that is going to suit me. And that's okay, we all dress ourselves every day, we dress ourselves really, really well, but we don't wear wedding dresses. All. We very rarely wear dresses, never mind evening wear, never mind wearing a full on bridal gown. So if you think, I would love to look really soft, romantic and flowy with this shape of skirt, but I don't think it's going to suit me, please do tell us about that, because we have got like 200 dresses on the rail, so we'll be able to tailor pick ones out and go, yeah, you can. If you get the right cut, the right shape, the right size, the right colour, of course you can. So make sure, because I did have a bride recently and she was like, no, no, she's older, second time marriage. Um, she was not body confident and showed me ruched satin and she thought, that's that's it. And then I pulled the wild card. So again, trust your consultant. I was just put this on for me, will you? I know you're going to look lovely on it. And it was soft, romantic, flowy with the full length veil. And she was like, oh, I didn't think I could, but this is what I wanted. And I was like, well, you could have told me that two hours ago. And we <laughs> would have been fine. So just be open and honest. We're here to help. The girls are super, super lovely. So this is our job to help you get there. Okay, so Sophie's look here. Again, we've added this little overskirt to it. So again, nighttime, gorgeous, gorgeous fitted shape. And this one thing I'd like to point out again about sleeves and we're going to just explore more sleeves option. So can you raise your arms for me, Sophie? <laughs> and that's as high as you're going to get with a bridal sleeve. We love the idea of bridal sleeves and they can look really, really gorgeous. If you know nighttime, you are going to... What do we say? Raise the roof. Raise the roof, right? <laughs> you're going to need to be mindful that a fitted sleeve like this is not an option. No. Or, or it could be, if you, unless you want to just hug and, <laughs> you know, this kind of shape. But, so just bear that in mind. But I'll show you other things you can do because sometimes these can be made detachable so you can take them off at night so that you can party. So if you can spin round so far. Yep. So buttons as well. You know you need them. Tell us and we can add buttons just right down to the end of the train, which can just be a beautiful, beautiful finish. So, and again, we know bows are huge, we all love a bow. If you decided don't want the overskirt, but just love the idea of adding, we can make a bow up in any fabric to custom, um, custom made for your dress. Okay, right, so, so Julie, Julie wore a fishtail, imagine. <laughs> I mean, how good does she look in a fishtail? So this is a strapless a, um, fishtail dress. And I'm going to show you three different options that you can do to change this up, to give you that maybe coverage if that's what you want. So we can start off just with a little spaghetti. And as well, we get asked a lot, how do I know when it's the right one, how will I know? I don't know, Sophie, you want to yeah. talk about that a wee bit then? That can sometimes be quite a difficult subject because a lot of brides will come in and they've said, everybody said to mm. me, when you know, you know. That's not actually the case for everybody. Um, some people do have that crying moment. You know, it's all emotional. Some people don't. I, I've actually had a bride say, yep, to the dress because yep was sort of it was a bit too scary to say yes which is like no yeah i'm saying yep to the dress it was a really <laughs> quiet moment and sometimes i'll leave the room and you can sort of like hear little discussions going on and, and they just want that private moment with mum or bridesmaids or sisters they don't want that big are you saying yes to their dress you know we've all seen yes to the dress on tv and not everybody wants that scenario um but i'd also say being open-minded is is the best way because again if you come in with these preconceived ideas you can almost limit yourself too much i've had a bride who came in and she said i hate fishtail hate it this was her first appointment i said well have you actually tried on a fishtail she hadn't so i said well let's try one on and we can either confirm the hatred or we can rule it in and she bought a fishtail so it's sometimes especially when it's your first appointment i will encourage you to try on all of the silhouettes um even if we don't like it it can be me and you in the changing room yeah, no, we hate fishtail and we can whip it off. You've ticked that box. The last thing you want to do is walk out of the room and be like, oh, what if I had tried on a fishtail? I might look fantastic. Or I know I don't like a fishtail. And then you can move on and, and carry on with your shopping, basically. Yeah.
Okay, so this is look number one, which I'm wrestling with a sleeve for you, Julie. I'm sorry. So we've added the spaghetti strap, but maybe for your ceremony, you could have the, the wings, we call them. So you've got that little bit of coverage, a little bit dramatic, a little bit romantic. So look number one, or if you think, I still want a sleeve, Susan. <laughs> I keep telling you I want a sleeve. So Julie's personal favourites are the little feathery ones here. Just like that thing down the back just now. And these can just literally pop on and then you can take them off in the evening again or maybe you take them off and add the spaghetti strap on. These are raise the roof sleeves though. They are raise the roof, yeah. Because <laughs> they're not attached to the dress. She's got full mobility, um, unlike myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are incredible. The feathers are just like incredible, aren't they? But yeah, you will have a little bit more range of movement. Some of us have children and those are really, you're lifting your baby. There's so many different things that you might, are going to be important to you on your day. And then our mm -hmm. final one. So if you just like the dramatic, which is, you know, we can do that very well. So doing. You could add a cape. But um, we always talk about in the shop, the amount of brides that actually say yes to a dress that they never in a million years dreamed that they say would say yes to. And I would say 80% of people end up with a complete yeah. opposite. And sometimes brides are like, is this normal? I'm like, yes, actually it's more normal than coming in, showing us a picture and purchasing that dress. So don't worry about being in something you never imagined yourself to be in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I think the essence of it is, talk to us, phone us, text us, email us, whatever it is before you come in, if there's things you want to know. As well, the sizing of the samples that we have in store are all going to be, we've got like from eights to 28s and everything in between. We'll put them on, we'll pin them, we'll tuck them, we'll hold them to give you a really good idea of what they're going to look like on your body. And then we will order one in your size and then we'll tailor it within an inch of its life so that you're getting it like spot on. So be open to like, doesn't quite fit, but by the time we're finished with it, it's going to be immaculate. And think about what you want, be who you want to be on that day and own it. It's okay, you know, just let it happen. Be fabulous, feel fabulous and don't compromise in that feeling. I think that's the essence of what we want you to well be with today. So we're in stand E16. E16. Yes. So come and see us if there's anything you want to chat. We've got dresses on the catwalk at three with the first round out as well. Um, yeah, so thank you for all coming along. Thank Hopefully you. we'll see you in the shop.